Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my journey in beauty, where every video is an adventure in makeup, beauty, and YouTube, and I'm inviting you to come along with me. Today's adventure is a chatty get ready with me featuring all of my Project Pan products or a full face of Project Pan products. I may not get to use them all, but I'm gonna try and use as many of them as I can which is why I'm looking like the Hot Mess Express right now. First, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This puppy is almost gone. It is in my hashtag Grey's Junkie Project Pan and it's almost gone. I have three sort of mini primers in that project. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Junkie Project Pan, I'm gonna link all of my projects for you up in the cards. Um, it's been a really fun project so far. Our first update is coming up on the 9th of September. And I can't wait to see everyone's progress for sure. I am definitely making progress on the items. For the most part today, I'm probably not going to show you any progress because I don't want to spoil it. I know a lot of people don't care for spoilers. So, you know, that's for you. <laughs> and next we have the Pixi H2O Skin Tint. This is in my year long project pan and I'm just finally starting to make progress on this. So I'm pretty excited about that. This is a gel foundation. So well, skin tint, it's more like a BB cream, but it is a gel texture. But I did go ahead and put up some questions on Instagram yesterday, and I did actually get a few questions this time, thanks to Angela. She's always got my back, and I got a really funny one from one of my subscribers and followers named Lori. So I will be answering those questions during this video. So, Angela's first question is, what is the most difficult product you have ever panned? And you are going to see that product today, and that is my NARS Orgasm Mini Blush. And just in general, I think blushes are harder for me to pan because I love blush and I don't like to wear the same blush every day. I think if I was going to pan a blush in the future, I would try to pick something more neutral um, and less hard pressed in the pan maybe because um, the NARS Orgasm is just such a specific shade. It's very pink, it's kind of a warm pink and then it has a gold shift. So if it's not gonna match with you know, or jive with what else I'm doing on my face, then I really don't reach for it. For concealer, I'm going in with my Sharp Tape Tape. It's kind of growing on me, but not really. There is a crap load of product in here, so I am gonna highlight the high points of my face with this, as well as the under eyes. I also kind of target this shape tape in the areas like around my nose here and like where my glasses rest up here because this has a lot more longevity than the gel foundation. Um, so next question is what was the easiest product you've ever panned? Oh boy. Um, definitely anything that's like skincare related or um, I've panned a setting spray from Cover FX and because I like it and it's something that I use on a daily basis. Um, you know, in general, products that I use on a daily basis, whether that be a concealer or a powder or something like that. You know, I try to include something like that in just about every pan product project <laughs> because, um, you know, it kind of boosts my spirit and my um, motivation 
to keep on with the things that are less easier to pan. So, um, but also like I said, skincare. I have my Garnier Micellar Water in my uh, Gray's Project Pan, which is, you know, almost a gimme product because I use that every single day to remove my makeup. So, so next I'm going to go ahead and try out this MAC Strobe Cream here. Um, today, which is Saturday, my 12 Pans of Christmas project did go up, um, which I'm very excited about. This is a major like international collab, like women from all over the world, which I think is just fantastic. Let's put a little about of this again on the high points of my face. As I said in my intro to 12 Pans of Christmas, I would love to know how you make use of your MAC strobe cream. I'm definitely going to try it kind of as a glowy primer as the weather starts getting a little drier and my skin is not quite so oily. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques powder brush and my number seven uh, Perfect Press powder in the shade medium. Again, not going to show you the progress, but just gonna set my face down with this. I love this product. Angela recently tried it and I think she's liking it so far. But this is a really nice finely milled powder, but at the same time, it's really nicely pressed so it lasts forever. This is my third compact of this powder, if that tells you anything. Next is kind of a loaded question, Angela. <laughs> What is your biggest pet peeve about the panning community? I'm gonna go in with my mini hula bronzer, which is in my 12 pans of Christmas. I'm hoping to, whoa, finish this, not Instapan, finish this um, by December 20th, or at least make some really significant progress. So pet peeves in the panning community. I think my only pet peeve, if you can call it that, is um, when panners chastise other panners for purchasing makeup. I think just because you want to pan your makeup, like for example, I pan makeup because I want to manage my larger than normal makeup collection. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a way to manage my larger collection, use things that are duplicates or use things that are older in my collection so they don't get wasted because they go bad, things like that. And so I do love project panning for that reason, um, but for me that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not gonna buy any more makeup. There are things, you know, categories in my stash that need to go down. Um, you know, there's categories where it's just like, you don't need more than one or two based on different types. Um, for example, concealer, I think one, you know, light to medium coverage concealer and one full coverage concealer would be absolutely sufficient for my collection. So that is a category within my makeup stash that I'm working on you know, reducing the number by panning um, those things. And then, um, you know, primer. I think a glowy primer or like an everyday hydrating primer as well as a primer like the one I use today that increases the longevity of my makeup. I think just those two would be more than sufficient. That's why, for example, I have put all of my mini primers in my Gray's Project Pan because I would like to lighten my number by, you know, three mini primers. So I'm gonna first for blush go in with my Balm Springs mini blush sample thing. This is the blush that won't die. And it was in my Spring Fling Project Pan and I now rolled it into my year long. I like to go in with this one first for the base pigment before I go in with my NARS um, Orgasm because the NARS doesn't have 
a strong enough base pigment for me. Going in with the NARS now and the same brush. So that's that was a hard question, Angela. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anybody else have a blush that they've tried to pan or a blush in their collection that they're trying to move out that just won't give up the ghost? <laughs> because this is the one for me. I had this in my hashtag. It's been emotional project pan and I've now moved it into again my Grays project pan as a product that I did not meet goal on. <laughs> so next we're going to go in with a powder highlight. And the one I'm panning in my Grey's Anatomy Project Pan is my mini Becca Opal. Um, this is a good shade for me right now. And Angela's next question is, what is your favorite thing about the panning community? And this is a, a very easy question. For me, I think, number one, the support. Um, and I don't just mean in panning endeavor. Some of us are just on Instagram, some of us are on both Instagram and YouTube, but just overall in our panning endeavors, in our daily lives, what we choose to share on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, what have you, uh, just very, very supportive and, you know, they, we kind of keep track of each other. If we haven't seen somebody for a while, we reach out to each other. Um, just overall, I think it's a, it's a group of friends. It's like a family and I think that's amazing. I haven't found any other community here on YouTube or otherwise where that is a reality. And so, and I really have made a ton of good friends, including my girl Angela from Beauty by Angela. So I'm gonna go in with my mini hourglass. Ah, so many cat hairs. <laughs> Ambient lighting powder in the shade Dim Light. This is also in my Grey's Anatomy Project Pan. This is a finishing powder. There's a lot that I love about the panning community, the camaraderie, the creativity when it comes to themed project pans or you know giving each other advice. We are ready for brows. I'm going to move my mirror in. And the brow product I'm going to use is the IT Brow Power Universal Pencil and Universal Taupe. <laughs> um, so if you guys have followed any of my other project pans, you may remember that I have a horrible time keeping brow products alive in projects. I had, let's see, first I had my Essence Make Me Brow in my year-long project pan. And I took the stopper out prematurely because I was a brand new baby newbie panner. I mean, I still kind of am, but this was really, really new. <laughs> um, and so I took the stopper out prematurely. So then we had complete goopage and it was unusable. All right, the brows are definitely sisters and not twins today, but that's okay. Um, so anyways, you have Essence Make Me Brow, I had to toss, and then I put in a Brow Gal Instatint Brow Mascara, and the wand broke off inside of the packaging. So that was the second product that didn't survive a project pan, so now I have this one in my Grey's Anatomy. So far, so good. <laughs> but, well, we never know when something tragic might happen. Now for eyeshadow primer. I have the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I just put this in my 12 pans of Christmas. So I'd like to finish it up before I move on to some other primers in my stash, which I have too many of because I'm forever getting them as a like, gift with purchase, that kind of thing. So, I do like this base though. I'm gonna go into my Lorac Mega Pro 2. I'm attempting to hit pan on four to six shades this year. I think I'm gonna go kind of neutral ish today. So, I'm gonna start out with the shade Burlap. And I have not been setting my primer down lately because Emily Noel and her new palettes has recommended that we don't 
and in my experience thus far I'm loving it I think it's been really upping my eyeshadow game I always thought you know if I didn't set my primer that it might stick to my eye weird <laughs> and maybe you know make it patchy or what have you but oddly enough not so much so I really am loving it and thanks Emily for that tip okay what shade do I want in my crease I think I'm gonna go with saddle which is a nice um, deep brown shade kind of a milk chocolate shade um, I will link Rachel Stephanie's channel down in the description box um, you guys have got to check her out she has been panning the um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette this year and I have I'm like beyond obsessed <laughs> with watching her progress because it's amazing. She, you know, shows us looks that she's done each month with it. She talks about, you know, which shades that she's been working on or worked on in the past, etc. It's just amazing. If you want to learn how to pan a palette with success, she is your girl. All right, I think we have a really nice neutral base going on here. I'm going to take the shade porcelain which is just a matte cream shade and kind of blend out the edges real quick um, make sure there's no heartless line for my lid shade I think I'm going to go in with the shade peony which looks like this it is a shimmery peach color kind of so yeah there's a lot of things that I like about the painting community I love how um, specifically the Pantastic Ladies, but a lot of people do outside of the Pantastic Ladies, um, themed project pans are so fun to me. That's why Angela and I created the Grace Project. Um, we just thought it would be fun. We picked quotes from the show that we could correlate with you know, makeup products, beauty products, skincare, whatever. Um, and it's been so fun so far. That is really pretty. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade that I'm using or that I am have goal on for this coming month as well. It is this shade right here called Prosecco. And it is the pop of the century, in my opinion, when it comes to inner corner work. It is so bright and gorgeous, even without any setting spray, in my opinion. So I'm going to use that for the inner corner and the brow bone. My son has homecoming tonight. It's so sweet. He's a sophomore high school which blows my mind because he feels like a lot younger than that <laughs> look at that glow that's stunning so yeah it's a 50s theme Whew. at the um, dance tonight the game was last night they did win the homecoming game our team so that was nice and they'll certainly have something to celebrate tonight won't they um, so 50s theme, he is going to wear, um, you know, slacks, dress shoes. He's got a white dress shirt this time, and uh, he got a bow tie. We really wanted to do suspenders, but we went to three different stores and couldn't find suspenders, so kind of a bummer. All right, using that same brush that I used for the inner corner, I'm going to take... Um, that shade saddle the darker brown and just smudge a little bit out on the lower lash line. But I'm excited for him. I just so enjoy, you know, the picture part of it, all the fun mama stuff. So this is the eye look. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to hop off of here real quick and do liner and mascara since those are not project items and then we'll come back for lips and finish off the video. Alrighty, we are back. I put on a brown liner on the tight line, a nude liner on the waterline, 
And then for mascara, I'm using the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara that I got in Sephora Play. And the lower lash line, I am unofficially panning the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. I like that for the lower lashes. Um, so we're gonna go into lip products. Um, I am panning the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in the shade Alluring in my year long project pan. And then I have the NARS Orgasm uh, lipstick, <laughs> very fun, uh, mini lipstick in my Gray's project pan. So I actually put, like putting these two together. This lip liner I've grown to love over the process of panning it, which is one of the things I love most about panning. Um, and then this product, I found that it really layers nicely over this product. So I think these are gonna help me use up each of these. Now I know editing Kyra just sped that up, but can you just see how that really glides on? Hopefully I was in frame. You never know. Here is the lipstick from NARS. It's kind of got a wonky bullet in there, kind of wo wobbles around. So here we go. This is the final look. Pretty neutral and fun for Saturday in my Bob Marley t-shirt. <laughs> Super cash. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before we go, I wanted to share with you the funny question that Lori left me on Instagram, and it says, which is your favorite in a pan of brownies, the center ones or the edges? Does that count as a project pan question? It does for me, Lori, and the answer is my favorite is the corner pieces. I like the little bit of crispness mixed with the ooey gooey soft part of the brownie. It's my absolute fave. I always try and beat my family <laughs> to the corner pieces and sometimes they're really nice and they save them for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of project pan items. I do love project panning for a myriad of reasons and so I wanted to share some of those with you today and I hope all of your makeup days are beautiful project pan makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye!